I have been to exactly 124 coffee shops around the country, and I've been to over 50 coffee shops just in the Denver metro area. And I will frequently spend from around 7 a.m. to noon uh, working on my laptop from these coffee shops. I actually think the Denver metro area has some really good coffee shops, and so this list will not be exhaustive, but I will give you some variety, and so here are my criteria. Most importantly, seats and outlets, Wi-Fi speeds, if above or below average, you can get by in most places nowadays, atmosphere and vibes, and lastly, I'm not super picky about the coffee, but I'll give some notes if any stick out. I'll typically either get a cold brew or an iced Americano for context. If you want to see a free Google map with all of the coffee shops that I've been to and places that I've worked from with even more details like the Wi-Fi speeds, how, how many seats and outlets there are, things like that, I will leave a link to my free Nomad Workspaces Google map below. Without further ado, here are my top five Denver Metro coffee shops to work from. First, an honorable mention to Frank and Rose on the east side by Colorado Boulevard. I really, really, really wanted to put this on my top five. It has great vibes, great Wi-Fi, great seats, and I love the commercial area around it, but ugh, just couldn't fit it in. Number five, Corvus Coffee in Arvada. This coffee shop is new as of a couple years ago. And so for my pros, it has fantastic aesthetics and a very artsy nitro cold brew, if you get that. And in terms of cons, the, the Wi-Fi can be kind of finicky sometimes, as well as it's a very, seems to be a very high-end coffee shop. So it is uh, definitely a bit more pricey than some of the other ones. Number four is Pinwheel Coffee in the Highlands. I had to add this because the smell of chai as you walk in the door is literally incredible. It's worth going for just the smell. But in terms of other pros, it also has amazing Wi-Fi speeds. In terms of cons, it doesn't have a ton of places to sit, but it does have uh, decent bar seating with outlets towards the uh, window. Number three is Brew Culture Coffee on West Colfax. I think this is the most underrated coffee shop. In terms of pros, it has great seating and outlets, great aesthetics, good Wi-Fi speeds, and it's popular, but it doesn't get super crowded. In terms of cons, it doesn't have a whole lot of parking options. It's basically right on Colfax, so you have like a very small parking lot and then some, you know, side street neighborhood parking that's usually taken up a lot by the uh, residents that live there. Number two, and this is a tie, Queen City Collective in Baker and Wash Perk in the Wash Park area. Both Queen City and Wash Perk sit at the corner of intersections deep in neighborhoods. And so that's why I called it a tie because they both have great local neighborhood vibes. Queen City is more of a kind of an industrial vibe and it's connected to a brewery. Whereas Wash Perk is more of a kind of quirky uh, converted residence to a coffee shop. In terms of pros, they both have a ton of locals and they both have a decent number of places to sit and do work. In terms of cons, they both fill up pretty quickly, uh, particularly Queen City. I've been there many times when it's, you know, packed at, you know, 9.30, 10 a.m. As well as Queen City does not have Wi-Fi on weekends. And I would say their outlets are just okay. They only have a couple. And number one, Improper City in Rhino. I love the vibes here. Improper City is a coffee shop and co-working space during the day and it turns into a bar at night. It was also converted from a warehouse, so it's a huge space, has tons of seats, tons of outlets to do work, and you'll frequently see it packed with other remote workers also doing work on their laptops. So in terms of pros, I think Improper City has the best co-working space vibes as a coffee shop in the Denver metro area. It also has great seats and great outlets, and it has really, really strong cold brew if you're into that. In terms of cons, the Wi-Fi is, is decent. Um, it also only opens at 8 a.m. I like to get usually get to coffee shops at 7 a.m. to start working, uh, but if you have a 9 a.m. start, then that's fine. Uh, but it, 
Uh, and then the last con is it does get pretty crowded with uh, people. It's a very popular spot for uh, co-working space. So that is my top five Denver Metro coffee shops to work from. I'm not affiliated with any of these, but I definitely recommend uh, checking them out. I spend a lot of time in uh, all of those coffee shops. As a reminder, if you do want to check out my free Google map, Nomad Workspaces, get more details on all that, leave that, I'll leave that down below. And if you want to hear more, I can definitely provide you more information. Uh, or if you have any questions, drop a comment, leave a like, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and I'll see you in the next one.